Good evening, good evening, good evening, everybody. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Ah, CC Saw Studios is already here saying what's up, everybody. Let's go. Now, now we're gonna geek out tonight. We're gonna geek out tonight. If you, you know, if you, I know some of you are already like, ah, Kirk Systems, Systems. You, 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 you've talked about these systems before, but man, let's 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 dive deep on it. I'm excited. We've got our guest here. Um, she and I have just been chatting it up, pre-show style. Uh, listen, I might have to start selling tickets to pre-show because. Free shows, though. Anyway, man, listen, there's a lot, uh, a lot to get into tonight in our discussion. So I'm actually going to keep the news brief, but we still going to do the news. Your number one source for live video news. Okay, okay, okay. So first up in the news, of course, we want to make sure you guys are aware of the latest uh, YouTube video, custom layouts. This is part one. We're going to have part two coming out next week. So definitely check that out when you get a second. Some of you have already been commenting on that. Hey, Frederick Tate is in the building. What's going on, man? Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for hanging out with us tonight. But yeah, StreamYard takes training wheels off, takes the training wheels off. Now, you know, I, I got some really interesting comments on this one. So I may have to do like a, a live recap just for us to kind of hash out what are we thinking? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Uh, Tanya, Tanya and I were talking about this as well. There's still some things the StreamYard needs to do, but we're like we're, we're liking the direction they're heading in. All right. So that's the first thing we want to share with you. Also want to share with you that our season five finale, this is season five and the finale is actually next week. So we're going to have recap. We're going to have giveaways. We're going to have a bunch of special guests. Uh, we're excited to be able to, to do that and bring that to you man it has been a very eventful season and we got some exciting news about another show that we'll be uh bringing out in the month of may my wife and i will be hosting that it's called the incubator's couch we we gave you a preview of it a couple weeks ago so uh kind of priming the pump but we're getting all the assets created some of the different things done for that so excited about this new uh space that we're going to be creating fl miller says hello fam thank you so much for being here uh but listen nab is was this week or is this week, was this week, still going on right now, possibly. And Rode, the company, Rode, had some major announcements. I'm talking about major. Now, so I'm actually not going to cover anything else except for what Rode unveiled <laughs> because it was so many that, I mean, creators, streamers, uh, anybody that's in this space at all is just kind of like, you know, mouth agape, we're drooling over these items, just can't wait to get our hands on them. So I want to go over them one by one. This this thing says, you know, um, uh, in what Road describes as its biggest product announcement ever, the company is updating uh, firmware for different products and it rolled out some other some other hardware. So let's take a look at them individually. So let's first start with the Roadcaster Duo. The Roadcaster Duo. <laughs> I'm just pausing because... <laughs> I want you to get your take pick your jaw up off of the floor, y'all. Come on, come on, come on. This is the Roadcaster Duo, right? This is the Roadcaster Pro 2 in a smaller form factor. Just let that sink in for just a second. The Roadcaster Pro 2 in a smaller form factor. And so it says the new Roadcaster Pro, Roadcaster Duo, not Pro. The Roadcaster Duo is a compact all-in-one production solution for podcasters, streamers, uh, musicians, content creators. Rode says it offers the same features and versatility as the Rodecaster Pro 2, but does so in a more compact and portable form factor. The thing that I watch, ah, Seesaw Studios put the mind-blown emoji out there already, but the, the, the video that I watched says that it also does not require a, uh, a cloud lifter. Uh, a cloud lifter. Gary Jones is in the chat and Gary Jones is one of the people who put me on to the road announcement. So thank you so much for that, Gary Jones. Um, <laughs> oh, they did, they did a brief review of the Roadcaster Duo. Okay, there you go. There you go. Look, at, look, look, great minds think alike. Roadcaster Duo was the, one of the first things. This one, however, the road, the streamer X, this one is what got me. Tanya, I'm telling you this, this right here, this joint is it is an audio interface. I want you to listen to me closely right now, but it is also a capture card. Oh, <laughs> it's an audio interface and a capture card. All right, all right, all right. It features studio grade audio inputs for various devices. It offers 4K, uh, 4K 30P, and it offers 2K 60. 
uh, streaming and up to 2K uh, 120. So you get a couple of things there. Pass through for video quality. So it's doing, it can do 4K in its capture card. <laughs> this is what? What is going on? Uh, we need these things, Road. We need these things. And of course, you're still going to get that high grade audio quality that Road is known for. You get a couple of different pads for, let's say, your sound effects, different triggers. But you're, that's a, that right there, just, you know, you walk on the go on the road with that alone, that would simplify my go bag in so many different ways. It, it just, <clears throat> Anthony Corn says, I'm buying it now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back it down. I wish I had my affiliate link up. But the Rode Streamer X is a, an entire problem. I wanted to make sure you guys are aware of that. And you're going to see, you're going to be like, oh, Kirk, is, 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 is Rode really going to take up the entire news segment? You just watch because they just dropped the pod mic. The pod mic now has USB and XLR. The, oh, my gosh. The pod mic is USB, y'all. The pod mic is now USB and XLR. So definitely want to make sure you guys are aware of that. Uh, man, 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 some of you guys might need to go look into the pod mic again because some people stay with the MV7 because it was both. Well, now you have the pod mic that's going to really give you both of those. And you can see both of the connectors on the back of that uh, screenshot that I put right there. Pod mic adds USB and keeps XLR. I love that. So so what else could they have done? I need to get <laughs> I need to get two of those. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else could they have done? Somebody's asking. Well, they updated the firmware for the Rode Wireless Go 2, right? So I have the Rode Wireless Go 2 system. That's my go to wireless microphone when I'm in the field. They updated the firmware on it. So now, if you're looking at the screenshot, you're probably mouth agape like I was, because that is a charging case for the Rode Wireless Go. And that has been a major point of frustration for me. In fact, one of the reasons why I was looking at going over to DJI is because of, it didn't have the charging case. And so now they have a charging case, which is pretty cool. But what is better than that is the firmware update. The firmware update for the wireless go to system is going to open up a number of other features and functions. Um, you can start and stop record on the the microphones themselves by using the power button. It's it's a major firmware update. And and there is a matching firmware update for the Rodecaster Pro 2. See, you see what I mean? There's just too much and just, just too much news. There's a matching firmware update for the Rodecaster Pro 2 that adds wireless functionality. What? So <laughs> <laughs> you can get four or five wired mics into the Rodecaster Pro 2 and then add your wireless go. Oh, my word. This is crazy, y'all. This is absolutely this is just bananas. And any Rode wireless mics that you have will be integrated with the Rodecaster Pro 2 with an, a firmware update. Listen to me. You don't have to buy anything. You update the existing equipment you have and you get wireless capability. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. That's it for the news. That's it for the news. I'm super pumped and excited. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. I'm super excited about, about our con. <laughs> I see you guys in the comments. Anthony Cords is no more good. <laughs> oh my goodness. But listen, listen. Uh, there, there's, there's, there's something to be said for systems. There's something to be said for systems. And I, I believe that with this, this lineup of updates that road has just rolled out, it helps us to refine our systems. And we're going to dive deep on the, on the systems tonight. So y'all got to help me welcome our guest live, sorry, not live video marketing strategies from get noticed with video tanya smith let's go <laughs> how it all works let's welcome our guest <laughs> man <laughs> I, you're gonna I make know. me come after all those really <laughs> awesome announcements <laughs> listen i, I I, 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 I was looking at the news. I had, I had like six, seven other things. And I just kept on looking at this road article. Like, wait a minute. They dropped that too. Wait a minute. They did that. What? But no, no, no. Listen, we, we're just, we're just excited that you're here with us today. 
thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for taking some time out of your schedule to come and hang out with the How It All Works audience. I see my moderator, Gary Jones, is already doing what needs to be done in the chat. Welcome, T. Smith. Thank you so much, uh, Gary Jones. Everybody What's else, up, listen, Gary? let's give... Let's give her a warm how it all works. Welcome to the show today. This is where we drop a bomb. This is where we do the DJ air horn. We get some cheering <laughs> together. We've got to do all the things. So we're excited that we have our guests with us tonight. Thank you so much for being here. Tanya, how it's, are you? I'm gonna I, I was thinking about putting up this first question, but I just want to start by saying, how are you tonight? First. <laughs> You know what? Now, now I'm doing, now I'm ready to get off the show so I can go online and start shopping. Listen, <laughs> That's how I'm doing. <laughs> listen, Seesaw Studio says, take all my money. Anthony Court says, I'm undone. I did these, these uh, so I, the, the, the pod mic with the changes that they made to the pod mic. It is now a true competitor. I mean, that's, yeah. listen, this is just it's just That's a crazy. It's crazy. I mean, Rode has always had the interface game locked up, right? I mean, what's yep. better than the Rodecaster Pro 2? Nothing. But now they're yep. giving us these other form factors um, to meet different needs. Like, I don't actually like traveling with the Rodecaster Pro 2. It's a bit big. So right. maybe the Duo right. might actually do what I needed to do. Because a lot of times when I go on location for, you know, production, I really only need one, maybe two XLR inputs. Um, mm -hmm. man, I'm just, I'm, there's just uh, so many different things that you could just think about where that whole thing is concerned, but we're not going to, we're not going to, we're not going to get sidetracked. And look, I don't even need any of that right now, but I feel like I need to go get it just because it sounds so cool. See, this, in the, in the pre-show, you guys weren't privy to the pre-show, but in the pre-show, we were talking about how being curious is such a major yes. component of success for creators and um, definitely, definitely, definitely excited uh, to get into this. Listen, Fixed Point is bringing us back onto our, our, our topic for tonight. He says, system plus save yourself time, energy, money. S Y love it. T E M. Hi, look at that. Love that. Time, energy, money. Come on, come on. Fixed point. I like that. I'm going to have to copy that one, man. I'm, I'm, I'll give credit where credit's due, but that's a good one. <laughs> That is a good one, man. So listen, we, we, my audience always wants to hear a little bit about uh, the guests. Now I know you, I know, you know, how our audiences are, 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 are kind of overlap with one another because of yeah. all the awesomeness that you do uh, with your group and with your team. But I absolutely love uh, some of your systems. So we're going to dive into that in a little bit, but right now, just kind of tell the viewers a little bit about yourself. Um, some pieces of, you know, what your story and by story, what I mean is what does a typical week look like for Tanya right now? Wow. Um, there is no typical anymore. <laughs> so, so I'm, I'm going <laughs> to say good. that. I'll start with that's that. Good. <laughs> I actually have been streaming. I've been live streaming now for going on. This is my third year. There it is. Yeah, yeah. And I did not start out that way. I am very much an introvert, a cave dweller. I could be <laughs> just in my space, in my zone. And I, honestly, I've been doing business now for about 15 plus years as a mm. coach. But I did not have any desire whatsoever to do video. My whole thing was let me be behind the scenes. I can put slides up and I'll do voiceovers. I did telesummits, but I was not interested in putting myself on camera and being, you know, just being out there. Um, mm. So a few years ago, I really had to make some tough decisions about the business because I found that it wasn't as easy to be noticed and to get seen in the social media space or in online world in general. It was very competitive. Um, I had just dealt with a whole situation with my husband going through colon cancer and treatment. Mm. And there were just a lot of things that um, that I was juggling. I also work a full time corporate job. So all of those what? things, the, the two kids, <laughs> three dogs, all of that. It was a lot. Um, and I had to make some decisions, honestly, Kirk, and, and decide, you know, do I want to keep doing this? Mm. Or do is it time for me to let something go? Should I just be normal? 
is yeah. what I ask myself. That is such a good question. I think uh, uh, creators of all shapes and sizes ask themselves that question from time to time. Yes. Should I just go back to being normal like everybody else? Or uh, I heard somebody say yesterday that uh, entrepreneurs and content creators are the only ones that will work 80 hours a week to avoid working 40 hours a week. That's right. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> or crazy. they'll work, work the 80 hours plus the 40 hours just plus because it's hours. so much fun. They love the creative energy. I love crazy. the creative energy now, but I did not know that. I made a decision that I was going to go live for an entire year out of a sense mm. of desperation. I said, I'm going to go live once a week for a year. And I'm going to test this thing out that I keep hearing about and see if it actually does anything for my social profiles, if it helps me to build my brand. I'm just going to see what it does and mm. if it helps me to revive my business and my passion for doing what I do. And I will tell you, it did that plus some <laughs> because... <laughs> You know, I mean, you know, the lessons learned when you put yourself out there, when you show up, then other things start to show up. But I started wow. to learn more about myself and I started to figure out that I was stronger and more empowered than I thought I ever was. I, I began to be, I began to model things for my two daughters and I didn't even know they were watching. We were talking about this the other day because my 21 year old now even though she's in criminology, that's her her studies, she is doing sports media for University of Texas at Dallas. And mm. she has always said, I don't want to do what you do. <laughs> <laughs> but she's a natural at it. And one of the things we talked about is she's like, Mom, I saw you get up and just say, hey, I'm going to do it. I'm going for it. And let's see what happens. Wow. And so I did that too. My other daughter, she's in music. I mean, it's just, the ripple effect that you have when you do the things that others won't, you get the opportunities that others don't. I say that. That's my Ooh. mantra all the time because I see it. I see Say it in my own life. I see it in, in others. One more time for the people in the back that didn't catch that. When you do the things that others won't, you get the opportunities that others don't. Don't. Good night. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. It, was, it was a word for me. So... <laughs> No, no, no. You know, you know, yeah. there's, I just I, there's you know, there's all kinds of different sayings that are out there and people people are uh, hesitant. They're 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 even resistant to it. Like I, I have a T-shirt that says going live changes lives. Right. That's that's what my T-shirt yes. says. And I somebody ran into me today and they're like going live changes life. What are you talking about? Because they didn't understand what the first <laughs> live meant. And I'm like, you know, live, you know, yeah. like live streaming, like live online. It was like going live changes lives. No, it doesn't. I'm like, yeah, it, it actually does. Like. That's, that's my lived experience. That's my entire <laughs> life. But but right. um, I, it doesn't just change other lives. It changes your life. And I think that yes. that is the I think the biggest component of that, of, of what we have experienced is that piece right there. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. We're going to probably have to have you come back just to unpack that whole live every week, once a week for yeah. a year scenario that the not just the experience and what you learned from that, but also, I mean, what drove to that? Because the. the that is something I've I've been trying to get people to do. Like, just try it. Now, I haven't done. I've, yes. I've never in my coaching. I've never done any uh, year. But I've I've said to folks, give me give me three months, give me mm -hmm. three months of consistent live, and let's see what mm -hmm. happens. But I'm gonna tell you. Yep. Usually by month two, they're so sold. They're they're so sold. There's just yeah. If I can get them over that first month hurdle and into month two. They're so sold, they're just gone. But yeah, I, I just absolutely affirm like that, that experience. Yeah. yeah. And then and then having the 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 you know, having that visibility in, in front of your daughters and that impact as well. It just just absolutely amazing. I see a couple of comments in here. It has changed my life by going live. Tech Troublemakers is, is is agreeing with that. Seesaw Studios says, preach. Uh, Anthony Gord says, my God. <laughs> 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 oh man, that is good. When you do the things others don't, you get the opportunities others won't. Come on, yeah, that's a T-shirt right there. But mm -hmm. but but before we before we completely derail the whole thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> what is what is a current week look like right now? As it yeah that that experience. I mean, you've kind of given us you know that that origin story. 
you yeah. you've really shared with us, you know, some of the impetus, some of the the the, the dynamics and um, um, I guess competing interests uh, in terms of yeah. where where you were when you made that decision or to, to as they say take the plunge, mm -hmm. but now like you know fast forward to current day, what is what does it look like? I mean, you you do the corporate gig, but then you have. Yep. The other pieces. And I'm glad that we're here because this is going to dovetail very well into the systems. But continue yes. just to tell us a little bit about what that current week looks like. Yeah, I think it's kind of good to provide that context since we're going to be talking about systems because Absolutely. systems are the only thing that helped me to survive my week. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Wow. Wow. Um, I am in a corporate position, which is very, it can be stressful and high mm -hmm. demand. Mm -hmm. um, and so... I'm very conscientious about making sure that I don't conflict, create any type of conflict with my live streaming life and my video coaching life mm -hmm. and that work. So I'm mm -hmm. very good about setting boundaries with that. Um, in addition to that, I have a daughter who's in college about to graduate in December of this year. Um, I have a daughter who is a freshman in high school. Oh, wow. I have a husband. Yes, my husband and I, and this is the kicker, Kirk, Come we've on. been married for 27, actually 28 years this year, but 85% of it, we've lived in separate countries. He is in, he's overseas in Asia. Um, wow. When we first married, and I don't often tell people this, so this is mm. for y'all, right? Just this, this, um, this is just us, just us, right? This is just, okay. just us in the, the, the show, okay? How it all works. So. <laughs> when we first got married in 94, for the first year, he and I lived apart. He was in Japan because he's a Marine. Mm -hmm. So he's a vet mm -hmm. now, but he was stationed in Okinawa, Japan. And I was here, I was in Florida for the first year of our marriage. We thought we were done with that, <laughs> but wow. we were not. Um, I, the majority of our marriage, we have been in two separate countries. So I am running three households from a financial standpoint, um, yeah. meaning like management of household affairs in yeah, three yeah. different households. My daughter who's in college, my husband who's away and then here at home. Yeah. And then we have the pets. So we've got just I have a lot of <laughs> things. So my man. day to day. Wow. Yeah. I, I mean, this is why I was very intentional about when I do my live streams, how mm -hmm. I take new clients in, mm -hmm. how I schedule when I can do coaching calls. Mm -hmm. um, the academy that I run, because I run an academy too called Stream First. Bosses Academy. Come we on. have multiple events every month. And so all of this is calendared out, is scheduled out in such a way that there's some flexibility and some room, but at the mm -hmm. same time, I'm respectful of the boundaries of all the different roles and hats that I play. Yeah. And in addition to all of that, <laughs> I am over the age of 50 and I'm- No way. We don't believe yeah. that at all, but continue, and I'm, I'm hitting, I'm about to hit this fan. I have my um, perimenopausal fan that I like to keep next to me. No way. <laughs> So I'm saying all that to say, if anybody has excuses about not being able to do say that. this, I need yeah. you to understand it's doable, but it's, it's all doable. in how you create systems and you put Ooh. boundaries, healthy boundaries in place that help you to honor and respect your personal well-being and your mental, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. But also respect the people who you are, who are counting on you in all those different spaces. So yeah, it's been, it's been an awesome ride, but a lot of times it's not predictable, but much of yeah. it, anything I can predict, I will, and I will systematize it. Listen, so there listen, you go. Listen, listen, that's the segue <laughs> right there. That's the alley oop. That's the that's the bounce pass in the paint right at that spot. You know, it's ah, oh, I can drink it now. That's it, y'all. I need you. Listen, but first of all, let's let's, let's let's double click real quick. Let's double click real quick. You, if if anyone has an excuse to not do it. It yeah. would be this lady right here, okay? Because I guarantee nobody else has the levels of complexity that she just shared. And I want, I want y'all to understand. I mean, she shared that for the purpose of you understanding all that she's got going on. So a lot of times, I think a lot of times people just feel like ah, they've just they've just got more time than me. They've just they have they there's there's just they just have to have no 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 same twenty four hours. That's right. Same 24 hours in the day, 
same 24 hours in a day. I, I can't tell you how many times I'm, I'm in a coaching call and I say to somebody, <laughs> when, when, when are you scheduled? How, when are you prepping for your content? You know, when, it, when is when are you actually going to record? What times are you allocating to script? Yeah. And they're like, well, I'm going to do this and this and this. And I'm like, okay, I've turned on the share screen function in zoom. Uh, I want you to share your screen. Well, okay. I can share my screen, but what am I sharing? I said, I want you to see your calendar. And then they show me their calendar. And none of the things that they just told me is on there. Yep. None of them. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So it's a suggestion. And I'm saying that to say, I, I just even here at the outset, I want you to understand there is a level of int intentionality, a level of consistency that yes. systems help to bring to your life especially with, with, for content creators, but even for just business owners. I mean, she's talking about running an academy, events and, 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 and training and coaching and, and sessions and all that stuff that need to be done, still working the nine to five, all the different households. We can make an excuse or we can get it done. You can actually yep. take your time, effort, energy and make an excuse or you can actually get it done. And I, I love how we've kind of set this thing up because I want to ask you guys this question. I see some of you are putting some things in the, in the chat right now. <laughs> I see you. I see you. I'm going to get to those, but I want to, I want to, I want to get this question in here. Oh man, my goodness. What, whatever excuse you can think of isn't excuse enough not to do it. Come on, FL yes. Miller. I, lo I love it. I love All right. It. <laughs> uh, Charles is saying to you, Tanya, thanks for sharing your story. I thought I was too busy. Thanks for, uh, yeah, yeah, no, he, he, he typed it again. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you uh, for, for, for your comments. I love the interaction here tonight. So make sure you tag a friend. Make sure you get some folks, other folks in here. We want to make sure that we get this information right. Now, this is the part you can read faster than I can. I can read it out loud. So, so yeah, I hope you've read it already. But anyway, I'm going to read it for you. It says, okay. yeah. what is your, this is your audience question. This is an audience question. What is your immediate knee-jerk reaction when you hear terms like uh, stream, the systems, SOPs, frameworks, processes, and yeah. procedures? What, what comes to mind immediately when you, when you hear those terms? It's, I mean, SOPs means standard operating procedures. Um, so, but, but framework, uh, systems, processes, uh, uh, all of those types of phrases that are supposed to denote some form of organization. And if you've worked with any systems that help you to do that, and you, you're familiar with, with this space that we're talking about tonight. And of course, this is the, the title of our show. And, and Charles is the first one to, to be honest. This is a safe space. You can be honest. Yes. You can be honest here. And Charles, we see your comment. I thank you for being honest tonight. Charles says, headaches. Listen, that's it. <laughs> <I> <laughs> <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, I, yep. I mean, yeah, it, I, I, I had a, my, my wife and I hired a virtual assistant and we went through an entire search process, found somebody that we really like still, we still have her to this day. And we had to delay her start date because we realized we didn't have anything to give her. We had no, mm, I don't know if y'all are catching this thing. Yeah. We had no system. All of the systems were in our heads. Yeah. yeah. So we had to delay her start date by one month. And we had to work like dogs that month to try to outline and systematize mm -hmm. the things that we wanted her to help us with. I, I so I so so Charles is the only one that has said headaches. What comes to your mind when you when you hear these phrases, uh, Tanya? So I will say, I can kind of agree with Charles if, <laughs> if I haven't put them in place, it's a headache because it does take work. That's real talk. It takes effort. It takes work. It takes attention. But when I know that I've done what I'm supposed to do, mm. all of those words feel like ice cream. They feel like rainbows. <laughs> they feel like, ooh, yeah, I'm oh, in good gonna, shape. So this comes in there and it comes out over. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> uh, you know, w w there's nothing. I I mean this. I'm I'm saying this as as a motivator for somebody out there tonight. I just hope that this this helps you. But there's nothing like an automation or a system or something that you've put in place getting something done for you. Yeah. There's nothing like that. Yeah. And I just mm -hmm. I I mean every time that has happened for me, I'm like. I wonder how, what else I can take off of my plate 
and have the systems do. Uh, Gary Jones yeah. came through saying, I have uh, no strategy for what I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, I'll tell you my really simple strategy that I started with. Mm -hmm. It was a three pointer. Come on. It was either I'm going to act on it, I'm going to assign it to someone else, or I'm going to automate it. So act, automate, or assign. And if you have those Ooh. three buckets and you think about what you Ooh. have on your plate, if you put it into any of those buckets, you're good to go. That's a great Guys. start. So if you don't know where to start, start there. Uh, those three words will help. Those three words are, are setting the captives free tonight. Um, <laughs> <laughs> act, automate, or assign. Oh, my goodness. So, so Gary yeah. Jones, you are not alone. And again, as I mentioned, just as a safe space, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't tell you how many, this is a big limiter. This is a major, you know, it deterrent is. for people to get into the, these creative spaces to, to, to do some of the things that they feel God has placed on their heart to do. This is a major one. And, I, and I'm, I'm really yeah. glad we're going to be able to touch on this topic tonight. And I, I don't want to belabor the point, but I just, I act, automate, assign. That's just the first nugget. I, I see Nobu, uh, Nobu is in the chat saying, this is a gem right here. This is a gem. Thank yes. you for that. <laughs> but yes. act, automate, assign. This is just a first one. Um, well, I've taken the question off the screen because I want to get to our, our first question for, uh, that's really right on topic, right? So. Because I, I, yeah. I think this is before we deal with the systems themselves and some of the examples of how they've allowed her and even myself to be able to do different things. I do want to deal with the mindset piece first. Right. So how can we reframe our view of systems, yeah. um, you know, have systems give and, and, and how have systems given you freedom as a creator? Those are those are the kind of the two headed question that we want to pose to you as we dive deeper here tonight, Tanya. I think that part of it is answered in the second question. Mm. I think that when we see systems as something that is limiting us, when we see a calendar, for instance, or a, um, a scheduling book or a, you know, a planner or whatever it might be, or a, even a computer, <laughs> if we see any of those things as limiting our creative freedom, it's keeping me from being able to do the things I want to do. <laughs> If we see it as something that is is creating handcuffs on us, then of course, yeah. <laughs> it's not going to feel like something that is is useful or something yeah. that we want to do. It's going to feel more like work. But if we can really see just a little tiny peek into what the future will hold when you have things in place, if you do something once if you're doing a lot of re repetitive tasks over and over and over again that's it. that's it just imagine how much more freedom you will have when that task gets put into you do all the things up front and now it's an automated task that works for you while you're doing something else when we can see the freedom that it brings and we can recognize that it is freedom. It is not intended to be something that is inflexible, but mm. it gives us more space to be able to do more of the things that we actually want to do. I think that's where the power lies. I think if we know that instead of me having to be on my phone and respond to customers while I'm supposed to be on vacation, instead of doing that, I can actually enjoy the beach, enjoy the and read a book Earthy. and enjoy the vacation and spend time with the people I love. If you can see that, if you can envision that, it sure does change that mindset. <laughs> yeah. See, th th and that's the thing I, I think that is what what made it tangible for me and Kanique, my wife, when we, because we hired the virtual assistant knowing what she represented, knowing yes. that it meant she was going to be able to do these things for us. And yeah. it was going to mean we could then focus on the more essential things in the business. Um, and then to realize that the systems and the processes and procedures are going to be the things that enable her to give us that level of freedom. Mm -hmm. So between us and the freedom, we saw the systems. 
And so that became like a major reframe for us. It's like, okay, well, we got to put the systems in place in order for us to have this freedom. Um, That's right. So many different, oh my goodness, so many different automation type yeah. things that we were able to put in place. And because, because you want to be able to keep the main thing, the main thing. One of the other, yes. the other uh, things I hear you saying as well, just kind of right, right below the surface is if your why is not big enough to where you want to have the freedom to focus on the main thing. Yeah. Then, because th because if you keep on doing the repetitive things over and over and over, it, that's the surefire way to 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 to, to check out. out and say I'm done. I'm done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you will be done. But if you really, really love what you do, <clears throat> if you really want to be at your best, not only for other people that you're serving, but be at your best for yourself. And I will tell you, um, once I hit a certain age, and I know I've brought that up a couple of times, I want to bring that up because I think sometimes we don't speak to all the different generations, right? Yeah, yeah. What I understand now, which I probably didn't understand then, is that my energy is not limitless. Like I have limits to where I feel like I'm tired and exhausted yeah. and it's time for me to just cop out for the day like I'm done. That's I realized that. And so knowing that it's important to me to get sleep. It's important to me to stay healthy. It's important for me to live as long as I possibly can so I can be here for my children, right? With all of those things being priority for me and your priorities will be different at every age. So know this too, whatever that priority is for you will help you to set the tone for how you're going to put your boundaries and your systems in place. Wow. So it could be simple. It doesn't have to be something complex. If you're sitting here and you're thinking, oh my God, I was on Tanya's, I was watching Tanya's show the other day and she was talking to this guy who was really geeking out. Like he's a, a former <laughs> engineer, right? Mm -hmm. If you're thinking it has to be as complex as, you know, formulas and all this stuff, I'm not even talking about that. I'm saying something as simple as having a color coded Google calendar, <laughs> right? Yeah. My calendar has been color coded in Google for some time because that allowed me to make sure the family knows, hey, mom is going to be live at this time on this date. Like, mm. don't come in interrupting. Don't play on the bassoon. Don't, you know, So make sure you put the dogs up so everybody knows where things are taking place because they can look at the calendar on their phone or wherever they are and say, okay, well, I know how to make sure that I help to manage that space and keep that space sacred for mom because she's working, she's doing her thing. Mm -hmm. And then I can do the same thing for them. And so I'm teaching them by nature of holding them to it. Look, in my house, in the Smith house, the rule is if it Come ain't on, on the it. calendar, if it ain't on the calendar, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. So it everybody ain't in the real. house knows this. <laughs> It's, if it's like, not on the calendar, it on it's not even real. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, no, no. And Listen, so so Chris Chris Stone says without a system or a process in place, the growth is out of our control. That's right. That is a great point, Chris. Thank you so much for that. I see yes. your, your comment, Wale Ade. I thank you. First of all, thank you guys so much for coming through. And, and thank you so much for your comments. I, I love what we're seeing in the chat here. I want to say a word of that. Uh, uh, so Wale, we're coming to you. He, he's asking, can we, can, we, can we share some examples of how to automate a task? We're going to give you some examples. In fact, our, our last question is exactly that. So we're going to get into that in just a second. But I want to, I, 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 I meant to do something earlier. Thank you so much, Charles, for the super chat. I mean, Charles Thomas, everybody, come on. This is it. That's that's absolutely phenomenal. We thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But no, our last question is exactly this, Wally. It's it's you know we're we're gonna ask Tanya to share with us some examples of how systems um, enabled you to be consistent and have freedom to focus on what's most most important. So 
you know, some of those, some of those practical examples, I have a few that I want to mm -hmm. throw in there as well. I think we got some time to really kind of dive in and we want to take some of your questions as well. Just make sure you put it in the chat with a Q in front of it. But, um, so we're, as she's giving us some of these examples, throw some of your questions in the chat with a Q in front of it. our moderators are going to do, try and help us to kind of organize those a little bit, but yeah. What, what are some examples that you can share? I know, I know you've got a ton, so I, I didn't do. even bother preparing <laughs> uh, much of anything because <laughs> We've geeked out on this already, y'all. I'm just gonna be, I just keep, you know, keep it a stack. We've geeked out on this already. And if you've ever, if, you've, if any of you have been on Tanya's show, you already know she's got a system within the system within the system. And I love, I love how it all works. I hate to, <laughs> to it's a shameless plug for my, the title of my show, but I just love how it, you know, comes together. Yeah. Let me say it that way. So go ahead, Tanya, talk to us about some of the systems. Yeah, I'll give you two. I'll focus okay. on two first and because I know people may want to have time for questions. But here's I'll start with one that you were just mentioning, which is for my guest, my guest interviews. I'm very um, structured in my thinking, but also flexible in some ways. <laughs> Absolutely. The structure allows me to ensure that my guests know exactly when and what to expect for the show when they come on. So one of the ways that we start um, that I actually make sure that I'm keeping track of, of the show guest is I have an application system. So I have a registration form mm -hmm. that allows my guests to go and fill out this short form where What's they that, are basically. That. What's that? URL? Can we show that URL real quick? Here, I, yeah, let me see if I can pull it up for you. Actually, it's um, get noticed with video dot com. I'm on. And there. it should be slash guest dash registration that should be yeah, it yeah, yeah. yeah and keep, keep talking keep talking i'm gonna okay I'm gonna pull that i'm gonna pull that right up okay so when they go I through think... this process it's asking them specific and if that's not the right one let me know and i'll pull it for you to make sure but yeah, i think that yeah, should be that's it. the right one so that's when the right they one. go to the guest registration application so there's a couple of things that i think through behind the scenes on this though i want to be sure that anyone coming to this page, typically they've been invited. So this is not yes. a public link, it's, right? That's on my page. Okay. Say that. Say okay. that. And and that's game. That's free game she's giving y'all, fam. <laughs> Don't just have this out there for any and everybody to just go to. Mm -mm. Right. So I, mm -mm. I I purposefully am not showing the URL at the top <laughs> of the page because this is not public. It's not for everybody. Okay. But I did want you to see this because yeah. con continue. I'm going to, I'll scroll through while you talk. Okay. Yep. It's, it's look, if somebody lands on it, I have fail safes in place. So don't, don't get me twisted on that one. I got backup just in case, but the reason why I want to make sure that you understand the context. It's not that I'm being, you know, rude. It's that I know there is a specific type of person and role that I'm looking to interview on my show. I know what my mm. show is about. I'm clear on who my audience is. And I know what I want us to talk about, right? So not everyone is should be a guest. And you need not to think everybody. about that too. From a boundary standpoint, who do you want to interview? And who would your audience really benefit from learning from, right? So what I try to do on this page that you're looking at is to set a tone for anyone who does come to the page to understand, here's typically how my shows flow. Yep. Yep. Um, this is what we look for. Um, I even have that note about how we work so that they mm -hmm. have an understanding of, of just the whole entire process. I think there's something that's not turned on there on that site. I've been working on it. But anyway. Oh, no worries. There, no worries. Yeah, it's there's stuff there's information here, including frequently asked questions, right? Yep. That will yep. give a potential guest enough knowledge to understand whether or not they want to self-qualify or self-disqualify. Maybe it's not right for them either. Yeah, this is this but, is at least five conversations right here. I, I, yeah, and if you've never if you've never done it, then you may not understand the the all of the things, all of the boxes that this one page checks. Yes. But this is at least a couple of emails <laughs> back and forth, a couple of different conversations. You've saved yeah. yourself just by having this one space. So yeah. it's it, it says a lot. And it also kind of I love the way you say that self qualify or self 
disqualify. That's uh, right. Because I was I was telling her right before the show <laughs> show went live, I was like, man, there's some times where I have a guest come on. I'm like, uh oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> what's happening now? So so this is this is a this is a, a very real component that takes time. Yes. That's what that's the, that's the whole point of what we're talking about here tonight is that this take this this is saving time. Yeah, and I set it up because I messed up a lot of times earlier, <laughs> right? So I just didn't know out the gate that I needed to create something like this. It was a, because of a series of mishaps and things that had happened in my coaching career that I realized I need to put boundaries in place for my own purposes, but also for the people who are coming to me to do a certain thing, whatever that mm. thing may be. So right, if it's right. somebody that's coming to me for a discovery call for coaching, I have a similar process in place so that they can also decide, yes, this might be for me or maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. So preparing those expectations and letting people know up front gives you both the ability to be able to say no or yes right at the forefront, right? So right when they there. fill out yeah. that registration and they're they're basically going through and sharing information about their bio, uploading their headshot, you know, some of the typical standard things that people do, you know, with mm -hmm. podcasts and with interviews. Um, and there's also a, an agreement there as well that they sign off on to confirm that they're in agreement with me sharing their likeness, et cetera, for purposes of marketing the show. That's there another is. important thing because as you know, Kurt, yeah. Sometimes people change their mind later on. So oh, you want to make want sure that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to be clear on how this is how I'm going to do things. And this is how I'm going to use your likeness in order to promote the show. Um, yeah. Yeah. I also then once they filled out this really short form, it automatically or should I say automatically? <laughs> Come on, automatically. Sends them to an Airtable form. So their information goes into an Airtable database. It's a spreadsheet mm -hmm. that has all the info for me so that all I have to do when it's time for me to get ready for that interview is to go scan that database, make sure there's no conflicts, make sure I have the bio, the headshots, all the things that I need in order for us to make the marketing materials for the show. It's all calendared so I can clearly see exactly who I have coming in and out. Um, they're using a booking calendar. It's, once they filled out the registration form, they also, they're also taken to an actual calendar, my booking calendar, and the dates are only available on the days that I go live. My backup plan is this though, and I'll tell you how to use it recently, Kirk. I have a friend, a really good friend who I wanted to be on the show and she wants to be on the show, but she, she can't be up as late as when I do my show. Mm. And so I gave her an option. And so when I say that I'm flexible, there's going to be times you're going to have exceptions to the rule. Yeah, to the rule, right. Right. So there is a process within the application once they fill that out and they're taken to the booking schedule. If that particular day of the week that I go live um, is not something that works for them. They have a method in which they are able to connect with me so that I can give them alternate dates. And what we'll mm -hmm. do is pre-record and then schedule it on one of my live for the, days. For those live days. Yeah. 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 That's good. Cause yeah. these are all the things I, I just want y'all to know. These are all the things that are, I mean, they, they, it seems like it, it may seem small. I'm telling, but I'm telling you, these are hours per week. It saves so much time. Hours. Mm -hmm. it, 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 really? Really? Just booking? Yes. Hours yeah. per week. And, and um, it, it, it's, it's, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, like the value of a qualified no. Yes. <laughs> like if you, if you, 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 you don't even understand what that means. The value of a no where you know the person knows yes. why they're saying no because mm -hmm. you've given them all the information. And it's like, thank you so much. You don't even feel bad. You just move on to the next person. That's um, right. And, and maybe you circle back with them later to say, hey, man, maybe things have shifted or changed. Can we can we work it in? Um, mm -hmm. But I just, 
there are so many different pieces of the puzzle that uh, she's put together here that I think is absolutely beneficial uh, for, yeah. for those of us that are, are watching right now, the qualified no, how you qualified no. Um, that's awesome. I'm so behind in all this technology growing with Hudson says, you know, I, I, I think, listen, there, there are some great resources that she just mentioned. Mm -hmm. She talked to, she talked about Airtable. Uh, she talked about the, the, the booking. Well, she's using a page on her site that kind of just gives yeah. all that information. So that's just really being resourceful. And mm -hmm. in any website, you can have a page where it's not linked, right? Where That's it's, right. It's, it's it's off, you know, to the mm -hmm. to another side. Uh, it's, it's a it's a hidden link, as you if you will. So mm -hmm. you can definitely do that, and that's that's not hard. But mm -mm. there are other, you know, just just by way of adding one or two other things in there. And I know that Tiny's got one other uh, automation for us. But if some of the automation type things. Uh, tasks that can be automated are things like, you know, having a form where somebody can fill it out, right? It's just, yeah. just giving you as, as a practical example, because yeah. these are all, it's all information that you would actually have to do yourself. And there's so many reasons why you want the person that's coming on your show to fill it out because you don't want to type their name incorrectly, right? <laughs> you, you don't, you, there's just so many different little, little details that, that are checked off when you yeah. know that that this is what's happened. So, um, man, and you don't want to have to keep going to them to say, "Hey, did you fill this out yet? Did you get hey. your? Can you send me your headshot? Hey, it's going on tomorrow, and I still don't have your headshot." Instead no. of doing all of that or sending no. five hundred emails back and forth, that day doesn't work for me. What date works for you? Instead no. of doing all of that, it's like Just one it. and done. done. And, and there's one other thing, Kirk, I want to mention yeah, real yeah. quick about that process that I think is really maybe a nugget for somebody. Once you've booked that guest, the other thing is to be really clear in the communications about what they can expect. So I give them mm -hmm. a, a quick little video along with a printable PDF that has top five things they need to know about getting interviewed using Ecamm Live, since I use yep. Ecamm Live as well. Yep. Yep. And not everybody's familiar with that. With and I it. want them to look great, right? Yeah. I'm going to look great. I want them to shine. And so I say that, like, here's a quick little video. And if you don't love video, here's a PDF checklist. Here's a PDF, yep. Right? So that they can, and I remind them with all my reminders <laughs> <laughs> that there's a link to a guest checklist that will tell you exactly what you exactly. need to expect and how right to prepare. To right. And if you don't know, if you've never done an Ecamm Live, you know, you haven't had the experience before and you want a little practice, here's a link to my booking calendar for a practice run before your interview goes live. So all those little things you kind of think through, like what would I want to do in order to make sure that this is this flows well, that the guest looks great Th on camera. It. That's it. Because otherwise they can show up and they do, <laughs> they have, where you're like, uh-oh, <laughs> the speed. Man, that uh-oh mm -hmm. is not a good uh-oh. <laughs> 24-hour <laughs> boss just joined us, says, man, this is great info, uh, says, I need to, I need processes that can help me be more efficient. These, I, I think we once we reframe our thinking and perspective around what systems and processes mean, um, yeah. one of the things I said to, to a, a good friend, this was not a, a coaching session, we we're just having a conversation, um, and I, I said to them, the, do you, you, you realize that you, you can also put free time on the calendar? Yes. Uh, you you don't just have to put the, you know, the coaching sessions. Da, 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 da. That's you right. You put like immovable, non-negotiable free time on the calendar. That's right. And so when that free time is on the calendar, no one can book that time. Okay. And that's your time. So like that's to me like that was the paradigm shift that that at least for that person they needed to hear was like, oh, Mm -hmm. The systems actually ensure that the free time also happens. That's and I right. think that's the piece that a lot of us like, oh, this is, I feel shackled. I, I got to do this then. And, no, no, no. You got to do this at those times because there's free time coming. <laughs> and and I, don't, I don't ever want people to walk away not realizing that it's balanced, you know, yes. if you balance it. If you balance it now, I mean, it's, it's as they say, Gigo, right? Garbage in, garbage out. So if you if you're if you just have your calendar completely stacked, there's no room, there's, you know, no overlapping appointment. That, that's not the way you want to live. Mm -mm. 
But if you have that thing balanced, and there are so many different systems. I use Calendly. That's been a lifesaver for me. Um, yeah. And allowing people to just grab a little bit of time on my calendar. I don't have to do the back and forth thing. Um, and I have the time slots built in for the times that I have said I will be available. Yes. And there are times where I'm not available and they can't book those. So I get to set that and that goes out there and. People will either book or they'll say, hey, the, those don't work. And then we go through an alternative process similar to what Tanya just mentioned. But I think there's we, we, one of the things that uh, we're looking at is, is, of course, for guests and managing your time. But there are other things as well. You know, mm -hmm. in the content creator world, we're talking about scripting. Uh, I script the end, the beginning and end of my videos, and that's critical. Yeah. And so I have to have that time on my calendar. Then there's time for recording. I've got to get my videos off to the video editor a certain time in order for him to turn it around and have it ready for uh, the different platforms, especially for yeah. the brand deals that I have for with with you know different brands that I'm I'm creating content for. So there's you know, some, this is, we're talking about money now, right? I mean, we're not talking about just, oh, it's just on my YouTube channel, so it's not a big deal. No, no, we're talking about, you know, contractual obligations. I need That's to right. deliver these by. And so there, these are things that, uh, these processes and systems, frame.io is another one that I use. I don't know how many of you are familiar with that, but that has been a huge cheat code for me. It's completely uh, changed how I do video review, um, and, and, and especially for client projects where I'm creating assets for their live shows and stuff like that. Or even with my video editor, when I'm providing feedback to him, I can actually pause the video at the timestamp where I want a change made, yep. type that in, and he gets it right there in the system. So they're looking for platforms that enable you to automate and scale um, are also going to be critical in your approach to having those systems because because mm -hmm. the email back and forth with a screenshot uh it gets old especially you know you're 10 emails in and we can't even figure out where we are in the email trail and he's responding to, to a different email that i've already sent two more replies and yeah. never good so having that clear visibility into these are the things that i i'm, I'm, I'm giving you feedback on i want these mm -hmm. things done you know, that, that is the, the secret sauce. One of the things I love about platforms like Fiverr and Upwork and others uh, is that they do have that clear review system where you can actually put a notation on the graphic at the mm -hmm. exact point, like, no, this word needs to actually be plural. So these are the things that really help for, <laughs> see, 24 hour boss says screenshots and email. No wonder I'm burnt out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But, but I, I really believe that these are some of the things that could that can be the, that put, put some folks over the top. It can be as complex as a fully, you know, custom designed system, or it can be yeah. as simple as you found an application like, mm -hmm. uh, like to Airtable or in my case, frame.io that actually checks those boxes for you and allows you to have that visibility into the project so that there's clear communication and mm -hmm. you can move that thing forward even faster. Cause that's, that's the right. time, that time is so valuable and, um, being able to get in there and get that thing done. Um, without having to wonder, okay, is, am I re responding to the latest version of this? That's never right. good. Yeah, that's right. I, I know you had one more, and I think you know we can we can squeeze it in here uh, before we <laughs> before we <laughs> have to shut it down for the night. I think that the people want to hear it, so I know you said you had one more. Go ahead. I'll keep it um, really concise, and it really just is about your video content creation. So whatever type of tool, platform, whatever it is that you decide you want to use. For me, I actually do use Airtable once again. Um, I use it. a combination of that and Coda to put together my schedule for what my video content will be. Mm -hmm. um, and I looked at where are all the different places, just like you talked about, Kirk, that I need to create Mm -hmm. For me, I do a lot of live streaming. I do a lot less production, pre-production, right, um, or pre-produced videos, although I'm starting to get more into that, so I'm creating systems for that. Mm -hmm. But I need to be clear about the amount of time it's going to take for me to write, edit, 
you know, put together an intro, even if I'm not doing editing because I'm doing mostly live streams. Mm -hmm. What am I going to do afterwards? Because I'm going to repurpose that repurpose live that stream. So I have a so. whole flow that goes with what I do <sighs> afterwards. So all of these things, I think what you said is really important. If you can find the platforms or the tools that really fit your capabilities or you can hire remember assign act or assign or automate that's it you can that's find it. someone because you're not the one that wants to do the automation and you're not the one that wants to learn the tech then assign that to someone but find ways that are going to work for you to create these flows and a really simple way honestly is to sit down and look at what you're already doing and just start journal for a good two weeks mm. about what you're doing every day and you're going to see patterns and you're going to see themes. This is something that I'm doing repeatedly for my business. This can be systematized, <laughs> right? Mercy. And that notebook or wherever you're writing down, you're jotting down those notes about what you're doing and the tasks that you're, you're creating, those are what go into your SOPs, your standard operating procedures. That's what you turn over to the person that you're going to be assigning if you're getting a team member. And a lot of the stuff, honestly, I do solo. I would love to have a really good, strong team member. I'm working on that now. But a lot of the things that I've been able to accomplish over the years, I've been able to do solo because I've been able to document the process mm -hmm. and put the process into some type of platform that does for me, that works for me while I'm doing a bunch of other things. There's, there's, that is absolutely gold. I want to say that first, right? And I think you you have to figure out what works for you. But here's the thing yeah. that I'm going to say to you, Tiny, is that you've already done all the work. So yeah. if you if you ever decide, and it's, it's, there's no right or wrong here, it's, it's it's personal preference. What works for you works for you. But if you ever do decide that I'm going to bring somebody in to handle this portion of the work, you've yeah. already got the systems already documented. And I think that is. That is the sad part for a lot of people that you find themselves like, like I did, where you're like, I'm ready to bring somebody on now, but I never took time to That's document right. because you don't want the person you're bringing on to have to go through all the learning that mm -hmm. you did to refine the process down to where it is now. You want That's them right. to, to not only understand that this is the procedure and the process, but here's why it's this mm -hmm. way. And I think that's, yeah. that's what we talk about systems. Systems help you to, 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 to put out a, a similar, if not better product every single time, because everyone yeah. that's working in the system understands why we're doing it the way we're doing it. I said that why, yeah. that why question is also very critical in terms of making sure that if you're going to assign it, right, if you're in the assign piece, that everything understands it. If you're going to automate it, everybody, you, whoever's automating it has to understand why they have we're to doing know the, it steps. the way we're doing it. Yeah, so. <laughs> right. So those steps there's are critical two, no matter how um, you look at it. Go ahead. There's two actual um, platforms I want to share. Can I share yeah, these yeah, yeah. two? Yeah. That would be helpful for some. Now, again, it depends. And I know this. That's why I'm saying it, because I get it all the time from my academy members. They're like, yeah, well, that's not going to work for me. So <laughs> if it works for you, <laughs> Flowster is one. F-L-O-W-S-T-E-R is a great way to document your process. And they also have a ton of different workflows that are documented and templates that are documented in the actual app. That's one. Nice. Another one is Process Street. Process Street has been around a long time. It's much more simplified. You can actually, and, and actually when I first started doing live streaming, that's how I jotted out my pre-planning, my during the video or live, and my post-planning workflows. Nice. Um, so Process Street, you can put all your different tasks and steps in there. You can have images, you can have bullet points. There's a bunch of stuff you can do and just create that or turn that into an electronic guide that you turn over to your team member when you get one. Um, the other thing that Process Street will do is it can oh, oh, automate oh, oh. those tasks. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> there you I, go. I, yep, I, that's Flowster. The video started playing. But anyway, continue. <laughs> this is Flowster. This is Flowster. I just wanted people to yeah. kind of get a visual representation of it. Um, since we're talking about it, I wanted to make sure we have that. And my, my, yes. my mods... Um, uh, we'll have this added to the description of the video. Uh, so if you're watching the replay, we'll have these links in the in the in the description for you as well. Foster is the first one, and and I think you said Process Perfect. Street, Process dot yep, That's it, right uh, there. Is another one there as well. 
Mm -hmm. really great resource. Process Street is a lot more simple. It's more simplified. It's it's a really easy workflow system. And then a plain old XMind, my mind mapping system. I love to use that just to brainstorm X and to mind, keep track yeah. of different notes. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a mind mapping tool. So any I, of those type of things, whatever way you learn best would be what's suggested, I think. The, 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 the thing that I, 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 when we talked about reframing and shifting our perspective around processes and procedures, that is the, I guess, first work that must be done because yes. that's what's going to get you to, to recognize that something like uh, XMind or um, um, I forgot the other application that's a mind mapping um, tool. But anyway, that's what's going to get you to realize that those types of platforms really do help because you can yeah. kind of see those thoughts and that that chain of, of where they all are. Because if you're like me, man, we, we, got, we, got, we got all kinds of ideas. Sometimes <laughs> they're not, you know, actionable, but they're ideas and you just want to jot them down. And there are so many times where a component of a, another idea will will be perfect for something that I'm currently doing. So even mm -hmm. if I never go down that path, I can grab that kernel, drop it in here and say, oh, okay, that, you know, that works in this context. So being able to have those pieces and, and recognizing mm -hmm. your need of it and, and hey, and, and being <laughs> laser focused on the fact that we're not getting younger. So, so the <laughs> mind doesn't work the way that it used to. Um, but no, these are some of the pieces here. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I, I'm looking at some of the comments here. Uh, 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 let me see here. Let me see here. Okay, good, 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 good. All right. So I wanted to make sure we didn't miss any of the questions. Several people are just saying thank you guys so much. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> we use uh, 24 hour bosses. I need you to put a new request so Ecamm can be used on Windows. Ah, oh, man. We, we, <laughs> <laughs> listen, we, this the, I don't know if there's an automation for that. I don't know if there's a system or a process for that one. But, um, but yeah, I, you're not the only one that says that. Uh, Ecamm is definitely a really great tool. But the but yeah. other thing that I always say to folks who say that comment, 24-Hour uh, Boss, is that the, the, the Mac, M1 Mac Mini, you can buy it used for like $400. So it's a very low bar for entry. You probably already have a keyboard, mouse, monitor. So if you get the Mac Mini, you can have Ecamm. And so I don't know it, it, I know that that's that's still kind of, you know, changing ecosystems and maybe there's apps and different things that you're already using on Windows. So I, I don't want to oversimplify it, but I do want to make sure that people understand, like, it may not be as hard a jump as you may think it is, because I, I have several clients who have made the shift because Ecamm is such a great platform. So. Just something to think about. Look, I bought a Mac just because of Ecamm. I'm not even gonna lie. I, a couple of years ago, I there was like, "Hey, there it is. I need, I need that." <laughs> yeah, Ecamm, Ecamm is is has has brought a lot of people over. But vMix is also another option that is is yep. is very much similar to Ecamm, not quite the same, mm -hmm. but one of the things it, it has the same limitation in terms of it doesn't work on Mac. It only works on Windows. So something yeah. to think about. But listen, Tanya, I just want to say a word of thanks to you. I know we were a little over our time tonight, but I just want to say a word of thanks for coming through, hanging out, um, and just sharing. Um, so much knowledge, wisdom, definitely going to have to have you back. I'd love to kind of dive a little deeper on the, that one year, live once a week for a year. I want to dive a little deeper on that. So I made a note of, of that as well. I'm going to see yeah. about some ways to have you come back. The new show that we're working on is called The Incubator's Couch. It's, it's about entrepreneurs, content entrepreneurs, uh, business owners, and I think there's so many things that we could still have you on to kind of chat about that. Um, Love that. One of the features of that show is going to be telling us your your worst clientzilla story. That's going to be one of the, <laughs> of course, anonymized. Of course, anonymized. Yes. But Strip one of the things we really want, want, we want people to walk away with the idea of not only that uh, when you deal with businesses, you're dealing with real people, number one. Number two, uh, <laughs> It, you you just don't know sometimes what are some of the complexities that a business owner or a service provider comes to the table with, right? So yeah. I think it's going to be a really uh, therapeutic. That's why we're calling it the incubator's couch. It's going to be a therapeutic process for some folks to be able to kind of share some of the stuff, get that stuff off their chest, but also uh, really helping us to refine some of those processes as well. Like how do we, so we had that client dealer, but what did we learn? How did mm -hmm. that help us to refine our processes ah, so that we can actually yes. <laughs> uh, uh, guard against having that again? So um, 
excited about that and we want to make sure we let you know some of those pieces that are coming because we would love to have you back now next week i'm i've i've put out an open invitation to all our guests from season five you just happen to be our last guest for season five um so if you want to come back next week you're more than welcome but i know that that you know it, it, it's kind of kind of odd to be able to come back the next week but if you pop in for a few minutes i'm going to send the yeah. email out later today uh, probably tomorrow and 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 yeah if you want to pop on for just a few minutes just to kind of say hey this this is what we chatted about and say what's up to the folks talk about what your experience has been with the show we want to really have a real cool celebration type vibe next week for our season finale so Very you're, you're cool. more than welcome to come more than welcome would to come. love to be honored absolutely thank you so much don't go anywhere i'm going to close things out but i want to make sure that we get a few words to our guests or to our to our audience as we get ready to close Fam, listen, 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 listen. I hope you had your pen and paper. I see some of your comments coming in. 24 Hour Boss says, Kirk and Tanya, I appreciate you all bringing the gems. I love it. Um, great show. He spoke fashion says, great show. Thank you both. Uh, Gary Jones says, thank you for sharing resources. But here, here, listen, this is the best part of the show, in my opinion, is when we have come to the conclusion, we've taken our notes, we've realized, you know, some of the things and ways that we might be able to take some of these pieces for some of you, it might be the, you know, act, uh, assign or automate some of you that you're just stuck right there. Some of you it's, um, I'm, I'm going to do these. I, I'm, I'm going to mess up this quote, but I'm going to do these things. So to have opportunities that others don't have, I, I know messing up the quote, I know, but the idea is now you have the opportunity to, to act. This is the time the show is getting ready to close out. What will you do next? What will you do next? We're talking about that curiosity component that is, you know, a huge make or break detail for content creators and entrepreneurs. And it is not so much that you need to be on the cutting edge at all times. You got to know everything. It is what you do when you find out that new thing that makes the difference. What will you do right now? Now that you know that there are systems and processes and these are some of the things you want to reframe your mindset around them. Here are some of the resources. Here are some platforms you can check out. Now, what will you do? That's really the question. Are you going to go back to the hamster wheel? You're going to keep on doing it the same way. All that with those repetitive things over and over and over again. Or are you going to figure out ways that you can create a system so that this is sustainable? Every one of the major components of being successful in content creation and live streaming specifically, especially if you are a business or a brand or a thought leader, coach, author, consultant is consistency. And one of the major components of consistency is having systems that make it sustainable. So, so what will you do right now? What will you do as you get ready to leave today? That is actually going to be the make or break. I see you out there, Austin Humphreys. I see you, Nobu. I see you, Brazil Photo. I see Miss Tanya TV, Antoine Speller, FL Miller, 24 Hour Boss, G Albert, all of you. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. We take none of it for granted. It's your boy, Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping that somewhere in the video today got a little bit closer to figuring out how it all works. And we'll see you, family, in the next video. Later. You know what it is. I'm gonna have to watch one of these videos right here. Pick something good. <laughs> Make it a great one, fam. Grace and peace.